<laughs> I have the best we could ever plan. James Franco's having a giant party. <laughs> yes! This place is beautiful, man. This place is like a piece of me. You two just stepped inside me. You let us both come inside you. Yeah. Boom. Thanks, James Franco. Have you seen Michael Sarah tonight? What's up, Rihanna? I can't believe people still invite him places. Oh, don't touch my ball, yeah. bitch. That's a weird face. So hot. Sheriff's office is urging people to stay in their homes right now. Looting, ah! rioting. For all we know, the Lakers could have just won, and that's the reason why all this is happening. I think it's the apocalypse. It's all in here. And he opened the bottomless pit. The sinkhole? Every single time I turn on the news, sinkhole in South America, a bunch of South Americans getting sucked into the ground. Sinkhole in my ass. What's your son? We should just stay in here, fortify this bitch, and take inventory of all the food we have. We got 12 bottles of water, 56 beers, Nutella, CT Crunch, a Milky Way. Can I have that Milky Way? No, you can't have the Milky Way. It's my special food. I like it. I want some of the Milky Way. I'd be pretty bummed if I don't at least get a bite of the Milky Way. What you want, son? This is my king. This is my lane. Get out of the way. What you want, hun? What the hell? Watson showed up. You have to drink. There are six of us. You cannot rob us. Oh, yeah. Hermione just stole all of our. What you want, son? Good day for trailers. I really liked Carrie, uh, which came out late last night, and I'm finally reviewing This Is the End. I've had some troubles with it. It's a it was a Machinima exclusive for a few days, so I'm putting up this Green Band trailer. But I have to say, I think the Red Band trailer is a little better. But wow, what a fantastic film. I like this trailer a lot more than the first uh, kind of teaser trailer they ran for this, which I still liked, but I really, I don't know, I didn't like the drinking urine joke that's in the first uh, trailer, uh, and I'm sure I won't like it when it's in the movie. But I, that's like my only complaint, and it's such a minimal surface complaint, and it's just a personal taste in terms of humor. But this movie looks phenomenal. It opens actually the Wednesday before Man of Steel, and as I said in my summer movies preview, Warner Brothers should be worried, and they should be even more worried after this trailer. Uh, I know a lot of you really are into Man of Steel, and you keep telling me to give it a chance, and I'm certainly going to see Man of Steel in theaters, but I'm going to see this movie first. And I think a lot of people are, and I think that that weekend, if you're not see this is going to be the cool theater to be in. And I think there's like that feeling where you're like, oh, I should be seeing this as the end. And I don't think that Man of Steel wants that. And Man of Steel really needs a new trailer fast because this looks phenomenal and you don't want anyone being like, oh man, I got sold out of this is the end, so I guess I'll see Man of Steel. I mean, that's just embarrassing for Warner Brothers if that happens. But what a, what a powerful cast. And also, no one could have predicted the rise of James Franco. He's hot off of Oz and Spring Breakers and I think this is only going to propel him further. I, I, his agent, maybe by accident, because it hasn't been going so well up to this point, but has really lined him up for just like to slingshot him into uh, movie stardom. And I know a lot of people People, a lot of you have always been James Franco fans, but he's not been a big hit with the mainstream. But after this summer, oh, I think, yeah, I think he's really good. I, I mean, I could be wrong. This is the end. Could totally, you know, flop, but I don't see it happening. I think, you know, the Pineapple Express, uh, Superbad, uh, these are all really successful, great films. And I think that this is definitely in the same vein. And I think that Seth Rogen is going to come back here and I but I mean with the heavy lifting from James Franco I think that he's gonna be who brings people in here also it's so great to see, even it's great to see stars when they make fun of themselves I think that's something Jim, uh, Jimmy Kimmel does quite well but it's so awesome that Rihanna's in this movie Emma Watson I love Michael Sarah in this trailer and he's even funnier in the Red Band trailer uh, I, I just it makes me respect Michael Sarah so much more that he's willing to laugh at himself and uh, realize kind of the, the trouble his career is in and it's just I'm going to be at this theater for sure, uh, in the theaters to see this. I will see both Man of Steel and This is the End, but This is the End is what uh, the ticket I'm going to buy first. How about you? Which movie will you see first opening weekend? Can they both survive? Who do you think will win the weekend? Uh, write your thoughts down below. And uh, why are you seeing this movie? Who's bringing you in? Is it James Franco? Is it Seth Rogen? Is it the combo of all? I would say I like everybody in it. I like the dynamic they have going. 
but I'm particularly excited for James Franco. So write your thoughts down below. And as always, thank you for coming to be on the trailer for the latest trailers, or in this case, semi-latest, and uh, for these quick snapshot reviews. Thanks for watching. Bye.